You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. Some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Santa Lucia, Nate's Path. So y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> Hello, Russell. Sup, dude? Mm -hmm. Cutting it real close, guys. Can't imagine how the Aussie would react if you showed up late. Russell puts both hands on his cheeks and widens his stance. Gah! Hey, you look like you look just like him when you do that. The lion shakes his head and closes his eyes. What can I say? I've known the guy a lot longer than you have. I know all his quirks. You joining us? You joining us again today? Of course. Bastard stole my idea for the playlist. It's like hell I'm gonna let him keep all the credit. He waves his hand towards us and leans back against the wall. Go on ahead. I'm gonna finish the cigarette and then I'll be right behind you. Alright, see you inside. I push the door and hold it open for the others to come in. Russell's right. I don't think Chris would respond well if half his group showed up late. We should probably hurry. Hmm. Man, why do I get the impression Russell's gonna cause a scene today? The three of us squeeze our way past several other groups of students rushing to get their next class on time. I have my phone in my hand so I can monitor how much time we have left. Go, go, go! I shove the two through the doorway in the last few seconds before the clock hits 1.30. What? Lex, dude, we made it on time. Once inside, I'm able to get a better view of the room. Unsurprisingly, Carlos is already here and sits with his arms folded at a desk in front. In the front, man, I wish he'd at least pretend to enjoy being around us. At the podium, Chris fiddles around on his computer while talking to Karina, who's sitting on the edge of the nearby table. I'm glad everything's works going well, Karina. Thanks. Did you go to that mixer I emailed you about? It doesn't look like he's noticed us yet. I did! It was amazing! Glad to hear it! I met a guy named Ahmed who's there who's super good at landscapes. We're hanging out this weekend so we can practice together. Oh, uh... Can you reschedule that? Why is that? Nothing bad, it's just... Oh, there's Nate. There's Ben, Nate, and Brian. Eh? Three of us end up walking to the front row before our mentor even notices us. You're all just in time! Who, uh? Brian slips into his seat and leans back with his legs extending out from beneath the desk. Let's get started on today's lesson, Teach! Uh, good afternoon, Chris. Nate takes a seat next to Carlos. I guess we can talk more about more after class, huh? N no need! Well, what I was gonna, gonna say is important for everyone! Whew! I, I like the sound of that. Karina returns to the desk to the desk to the to the desk her backpack is under and I decide to take the adjacent seat. Just like Monday's session, Brian and Carlos make sure to sit as far away from each other as possible. Now that everyone's here, I can inform you that the service project is this weekend. Gah! I turn around in my seat to watch as Russell makes his dramatic entrance. The what now? He shakes his head and smiles, walking up to the center. Chris, you shouldn't have shouldn't you have sent out the email about this? Russell joins Chris next to the podium. Well, I thought it'd be better to tell everyone in person. Jesus, dude, you were planning to leave them in the dark until now? Uh, don't put it that way. Huh. Russell stuffs his hands in his pockets and chuckles. Good thing these guys have a backup mentor. <clears throat> Instead of bickering, can you tell us what the service project is? Carlos pouts while pulling out his notebook. Right, okay. Since you were about to do it anyway, care to do the honors, Chris? If only if you take a seat. Ooh, sassy. Could it be that you're starting to grow a spine? Russell walks off and takes a seat a couple rows behind the rest of us. Second y'all, water time. Hmm. He rests his feet on the seat in front of him, toothy smirk aimed squarely at Chris. All right. First thing to cover today is the service project. A core aspect of the freshman seminar program is teaching students how to, how to be active members of the community. On the first weekend after classes start, we have a tradition of sending our new students out to perform a two-day long community service project. This is meant to not only teach the value of labor, but to strengthen the bond between students and their, and their mentorship programs. 
into mentorship groups. Yep, sounds fun. <laughs> um, so, you, so you're saying we have to do community service this weekend, huh? Why couldn't you just say that? Oh, well, huh. Panda's got a point there, bro. How long did it take you to rehearse that introduction? Or did you read it off a teleprompter? Poor Chris looks like he's sweating bullets. Chris, these are your mentees, not some board of directors asshats. Talk to them like they're people. I suppose you're right. Relax, darling. We won't. We don't bite. Okay. I'll tell it like it is then. This weekend we're required to take a trip together to do community service. It's a requirement that you're going to get graded on it, so... And make sure you're there. I promise it's going to be fun. Oh god, gag me. Also mumbles under his breath. Uh, that is still not helpful. What time are we meeting? Where are we meeting? Where are we going? Do we need to bring money for food? Kala starts listing off a series of very valid questions. I'm surprised you we weren't told about, this in le uh, told about this in lecture this morning. It sounds more like it's the responsibility of the mentors, Nate. Um, yeah. Maybe I should have emailed you after all. Tell you what, while we're sharing our playlists, I'll get all that info sent to you. Works for me, I guess. I shrug my shoulders. The whole idea of the project makes me roll my eyes, but if it's a class requirement... Perfect! Now let's move on to the next topic. I hope you guys had fun preparing your playlists. You guys remember to do that, right? Uh, of course, we're all we're all model students, right, guys? Brian leans forward in his seat so he can look at so he can look across the rest of us. You make it sound like you forgot, Panda. In an instant, Brian's smirk turns into a scowl. You always have something to say, don't you? Now, now, guys, let's try not to fight again. <laughs> Whatever. He slumps back in his chair. Don't worry, Chris. I'm pretty sure we we all finished the assignment. Good. I have my laptop set up for this, so if anyone would like to present first, come on up. A wave of silence falls over the room. Anyone? I knew we were going to share these, but I didn't think it would be like this. Ugh. Hustle sighs and stands up from his seat. Are you really this clueless? What do you mean? That's how I know you don't understand the purpose of this assignment. Figure, since you weren't the one who came up with it. You're being really unfair right now. Is that so? He pauses for a moment before continuing. Okay, change of plan, guys. Instead of sharing with everyone all at once, how's about we pair up and share one at a time? I think I prefer that, yeah. Works for me. Hmm. Then it's settled. Everyone, follow me. Russell starts walking towards the exit. Wait, where are you going? I'm taking them to the computer lab. It's always empty around this time. It's actually a good idea. Of course it is. This is me we're talking about. Why don't you let me handle the playlist assignment, okay? But it's my job. It wouldn't be the first time I've bailed you out of something, dude. Just roll with it. Alright, guys. I guess we're heading to the computer lab. Bring your backpacks. I'd love to know what kind of history they have together. Thank you, y'all. Water time. Alrighty. Russell leads the way up to the second floor. He wasn't kidding when he said the lab isn't occupied at this time. After turning on the lights, I can't I can tell not a single computer is active. Whoa, I didn't realize your computer lab was this was this big. I wasn't aware psychology students use them much. First of all, there are communication students in here too. Second, you have no idea how much writing we have to do all the time. I know some overachievers who spend their entire afternoons in here when classes are done. Hmm. Chris falls up to one of the vacant computers and takes a seat. The monitor resolution looks a bit small, and... His headphones are ghastly. He holds up a bulky pair that hardly seems the most species-neutral. Kuh! You can't be serious! These things are running Windows 8 still? If I get the lab admin's permission, I could have these things running 10 in a couple hours. Okay, nerd, don't get carried away. We have an assignment to cover, don't we? S sorry He jolts up from the chair and straightens out his jacket. Alrighty, let's get to it. Nate, you can close the door. Nate, can you close the door behind you? A sure thing, darling. So, we just sit wherever? Let's stick with the back row, okay? I think we're going to be moving a lot between computers. <laughs> Fine. 
Without another word, Carlos takes a slot at the closer end of the row. We just plug our thumb drives into them, right? That's correct! Assuming these hunks of junk actually have USB slots. They do, smartass. Oh. Well, in any case, find a computer, everyone. You're right, these things are junk. The school must have got a good deal on them. Huh. Two of them hover over me while we try to get the computer I choose to turn on. Can I just take one of the others? Well, we're all so cozy in the same row, though. God, it runs slower than my than my fat top while with loads of porn saved on it. But don't say that in front of them. Come on, they're adults, too. Y'all know what porn is, right? <laughs> he takes a step back and addresses the rest of the group. Surprisingly, he only gets blank stares, even from Brian. Hmm, tough crowd. Oh, here we go. Finally. When the desktop finishes loading in, we're given a glimpse as to why it's so slow. Uh... Oh. Huh. Also leans in to get a closer look. Seriously? And maybe comparing it to my Faptop isn't so wrong after all. Hey, let's just delete all this real quick. Chris pushes me aside slightly and takes control of the mouse, highlighting all the saucy files and promptly deleting them. I forget the desktop image. Who would do such a thing? Don't look at me. He flips his hand in front of him and struggles to hold back a laugh. Heh, <laughs> probably some prankster who thought it would be funny. Wait, hold on a sec. I'll delete that one, Chris. Why not? It's actually kind of hot. Kai, you're such a pervert! In an instant, the file disappears from the screen. I, I feel like I should be compensated for this. Once the files are gone, the recycle bin is empty. The computer seems to run a lot smoother. Chris and Russell will turn to their seats and begin explaining the assess the assignment. Ah! I rub my forehead. That headache hasn't gone away. Does everyone have their login information for their playlists? E yuppers. I just made mine public. Ooh, smart girl. Can't say I can't say I like logging into these myself. Russell, would you care to do the honors? What? As in, you want me to run the assignment? You're the one who suggested it. We who suggested we do it this way. You seem to have a plan. Thanks. I didn't expect you to just hand over the reins like that. He puts a hand to his chest and bows. Second, y'all. Water time. In my honor, I will make you proud. You sound like Sam when you do that. <laughs> Was it that obvious? Can we start, please? Right, right. Okay, so I've always believed that music is a way to get to know people better. Nobody likes how impersonal it is making a presentation, so we're going to split up into groups of two. We'll share with our partners why we like the songs we chose, then rotate out. It shouldn't take too long, ideally. I figure no more than ten minutes per group. Should I shuffle everyone around? Nah, I have a better idea. He turns his head towards me. Got a bad feeling about this. Let's have Ben decide who he wants to work with first. Why is it always me? Protagonist privilege. What? What? Dude, you squirm a lot. What's that supposed to mean? You're the perfect kid to tease. Ah! I get up from my seat and pout. Fine, you want me to make a choice? I'll make a choice. My head starts pounding even harder than before. I swear, am I wearing a pick on me sign taped to my back? Huh. I guess it's not a big deal. I mean, I'm friends with everyone here. It's not like I'm opening up to strangers or something. Who should I work with first? Uh, who? Yeah, where is, is that Nate? That's Nate. Okay. All right. Using the table as a propeller, I wheel myself next to Nate. Nate shoots me one of his trademark smiles. How delightful! I can't wait to get started! Well, that's more or less what I expected to hear coming from him. You're really into this, huh? Of course! Don't you find this exciting? I take a look around. The others have already gotten into pairs and started, started exchanging playlists. Nate has already started preparing his first song. Hmm. Exciting isn't really the first thing that comes to mind. He turns to look at me, confused. If anything, I find this less exciting and more... awkward. Nate purses his lips and pouts. Oh, Ben, I think this'll be fun! He takes a moment to reflect before talking again. I won't force you to do it if you don't want to, however. 
All right, guys and gals, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.